Hey everybody, it's Jace from Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. The Eagle has landed with the new Talon Chuck Rotary, ready to take your business to new heights. So here we have the new Talon Chuck Rotary. Uh, you guys have been asking for it, you've been patiently waiting, and thank you very much for doing that. We've got our final, I say prototype, just because it's a, it's a one-off right now. We're doing some final testing and everything, and we should have a, a pre-release or pre-sale uh, being announced later this week. So now we're gonna go ahead and take, take a moment We'll go ahead and look at the chuck and show you what it can do. All right, so here is the Talon chuck. Um, we made some modifications to it and I think it's ready to go. We're gonna do some final testing on it. So we can do everything pretty much from a pin all the way up to your 30 ounce cups and even these dog bowls or larger dog bowls as well and anything in between. Also, if you have, if you're turning bowls on a wood lathe, you can actually set it up to, to hold that as well. Uh, with the dog bowl, we have these extended brackets here. They come with a thumb screw that you just simply put on, tighten down. And these are notched on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but they're notched on the back. That way they fit right over this. So one screw is all you need to hold it in place. So it's a quick and easy add-on, and if you have certain size dog bowls, you can go ahead and set this up however you need to in order to be able to do them, and then that way all you do is you just take them off when you're not using them, put them back on when you're ready to use them. Right. So you just set your dog bowl up, press it against the arms of the, the chuck there, or the jaws of the chuck, tighten it down, and you're ready to go. Just like that. And then to release it, just simply take it off, you're done. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to doing our cups. And for our cups, we have two different size bumpers here, the ones that you see uh, mounted on it already. Um, and you don't have to use these. These are actually the same ones that are on the extension pieces. So you would actually use the ones off the extension piece on here because you'll get two sets. You'll get the smaller set, you'll get the bigger set with it. Um, for the littler set, just take those and just screw them on. Um, there will be a wrench provided to tighten these down, but just doing them by hand seems to lock them in there pretty good by themselves, but generally you will have to use a wrench probably to get them off there. Um, so you can leave it in this configuration, that way you can do a wider variety of things, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but with this, we have the most adjustability of any other chuck on the market. Uh, so we can do basically anything with this co configuration, this outer configuration, we can do anything that's about a 20 millimeter or um, a 20 ounce cup size, all the way up to a 30 ounce cup without having to change these positions or any of that stuff. So that way, um, less tool changes, saves you a little bit of time and uh, Time is money, obviously. So the way it's set up here, we'll go ahead and start off with just a small uh, whiskey glass. So we'll go ahead and open our jaws up. We're gonna use the inner, the inter, inner part to secure it. All right, so now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and swap it out and put us in a 20 ounce tumbler. To adjust it back down a little bit. All right, get your 20 ounce on there. Tighten it down. Good to go. Unlike other rotaries on the market, you can go straight from a 20 ounce to a 30 ounce without having to change any, uh, do any tooling or changes and you're ready to go. 
All right, and then from the 30 ounce cup, go ahead and lock it in position. We'll loosen that up. Now we're gonna do the two and a half pound glass beer mug. Same thing. Put it on there. Good to go, no support needed. It's one of the benefits of having the four jaw chuck. Um, everything's in there nice and smooth, so you can quickly and easily go between several different sizes, all in one setup, to where you don't have to worry about uh, repositioning anything um, as you're as you're working. All right, now that we've seen everything that this, or a brief overview of some of the things that this skin can handle, um, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what makes this rotary unique to everything else that's out there. All right, so the first thing that makes this a little bit more unique and better um, than other rotaries on the market is it's a direct drive. It's also the collet that holds this to the motor is actually shaped and fitted to the motor shaft. And then it's got a pinch bolt that holds it in place so you're not having to worry about a set screw coming loose or anything like that. Um, you're always going to have a tight fit on the motor shaft so you don't have any wobble or backlash or any of that stuff from a, um, a grub screw that's worked loose or, or got damaged or whatever, uh, like some of the other rotaries that are out there. Another unique feature to what we have is we actually have a collet lock or a lock for the, the head. So it actually holds it in place. There's several different places that it can lock into. That way it holds it still and you can make your adjustments with one hand with just using your thumb or if you want to use your finger you can use your finger or however you want to do it um, and then it's spring loaded so once you're done making your adjustments you just let go and then the, the rotary spins freely um, the other unique thing as well is this is designed to work mainly with the ascend setup but it'll also work on the junior and the, and the roto boss itself um, and with that uh, if you notice on here it's got the side plates that actually hold the pivoting mechanism for the motor and you have that exact same thing on the other side uh, what that allows you to do is if you have it set up like this as we have it now you can have your your uh, thumb screw here on this side or if you have it turned around like this you can put it on this side so you can actually utilize it on this side instead of the other side so depending on how you have it set up um, for roto bosses and juniors, it would be set up in this configuration with your knob on this side, so you just swap everything over to here. Um, for the for the ascend, um, it's on the side that it's on now, and it's just a quick loosen. And you can adjust it to wherever you want. And then you lock it in place, and it's locked in place. Um, there are some other holes set out here. So you can actually take this, move it back, and the motor will actually sit in a vertical position as it's mounted on here. Um, so that's another unique feature that we have. The other thing is, and probably the most, the most unique, is the four jaw chuck setup that we have. Um, so with this setup, you can apply more pressure with less force. So that way when you're doing uh, glass objects and stuff, you can tighten down a lot more to secure them and don't really have to worry too much about them breaking. Uh, obviously you can over tighten it and break the glass, um, but with the four jaw, you have more, more evenly spread out uh, pressure. And also um, if you're doing like a, a rocks glass or a square rocks glass, you can also put that in there and obviously it'll, it'll grip all four sides keep it square in, in the chuck and that way it leaves the engraved area that you need to the area that you need to engrave away from it so you don't have to worry about your head hitting it and all that stuff so um and with that also you can actually adjust this up and down depending on you know how big of an item you have so you can do that just by loosening the thumb screws on the back here and then you can actually Maneuver it up. You got several sets of holes there, several sets of holes here. You can find whatever combination of holes works, and then you just put it in there, and you're ready to go. So depending on the height of your machine, the height of your object, like a dog bowl, if you're doing larger dog bowls, um, you might want to raise it up to get your clearance. But you can you can make the adjustments there. Uh, so this will come in 
three different configurations as of right now. One, as you see it here, so you'll have the chuck with the ascend um, support um, if you want it. You can also get this without the attachment, and you'll just get the frame and the chuck. Um, so actually, it'll be four. So then also you'll have a standalone for your fiber galvo type lasers to where this will actually attach to the bed and then the chuck will mount to the to the bed attachment and then you'll also have the version that will adapt to the junior and the rotoboss as well so they'll have we'll have a total of four options um with the with the four jaw chuck you don't really need the support it's helpful if you have a lot of heavy stuff um but for the most part with with the four jaw chuck as you saw with the the bigger the bigger mug here doesn't slump doesn't fall so it'll actually support everything that you need but if you really wanted to you can utilize the uh, the support and it'll work the same just in case you need it or something like that if something's not sitting right or if it's a little too heavy um, but that's basically the gist of it. With this rotary, the way we have it set up is you can run any NEMA 23 or NEMA 17 um, motor on this unit. Right now we have the ability to use either the eight millimeter shaft or a 6.35 millimeter shaft, which is on your smaller uh, two phase uh, NEMA 23s. Um, but irregardless, this will work with either of those motors so no matter what rotary or laser you have we can we can get a configuration that's going to work for you all right so here at rotoboss we have our humble beginnings back in 2019 when we launched our first product which was the rotoboss obviously it was a, a higher end higher end rotary a lot more features a lot more function so we decided to make a a cheaper version that was nearly as capable but not quite as much and that's where we came out with the junior so after the junior came out uh, we had a, a large demand for smaller uh, laser machines, so we came out with the low roller, which is a a lower profile version of the junior. Then they started to develop the Ascend, which is our newest roller rotary that come out. You know, obviously switching from having towers on the other three rotaries to having the Ascend with no tower and a scissor lift mechanism makes it a little bit more unique and more user friendly and, and a larger variety of, of lasers. To try to hit the, the budget friendly market, we come out with the boot. And the boot is a bare bones, uh, mechanically adjusted and operated rotary. We basically trimmed out all the fat from it. That way we can offer you the same quality of machine at a lower price, you know, for your entry level hobbyists, things like that. Because I can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> the Galvos have started to become more popular. The need for a chuck offers something to everybody. We decided to come out with a chuck to address the growing Galvo market, which the chucks are very useful for. Depending on what you're doing, arguably better to use than a, than a roller chuck or a roller rotary rather. All right, with our newest rotary, the Talon, I'm really, really pleased at how it turned out. Um, you know, there's been a lot of people saying that it's not going to work because it is a four jaw chuck. You know, knowing knowing how the stuff works from having a woodworking background, I kind of knew uh, what I was doing or getting into when I was doing this. Yes, it has been hard. We've been able to um, do just that, create the chuck with four jaws. You know, I couldn't I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. I look forward to getting it in everybody's hands. I know you're going to love it. All right, everybody, so I hope this video was informative and helpful to kind of address and identify the features and the use usefulness of this rotary. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave a comment in the comment section below. 
Uh, feel free to also like, share, subscribe to make sure that you guys get notifications when we come out with new videos because we do have some more stuff that we will be coming out with in 2024 um, that you guys are not going to want to miss. So uh, stay tuned. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.